Hello everyone, George here, and we start off this episode away to West Ham on the opening day of the Premier League season. And uh, in the sixth minute, really early on in the game, we get the ball from a throw-in. They're talking about Stephen Warnock because he obviously signed for West Ham. So his first game for them is against his old club, but Musa Sissoko with a ball over the top, and Ben uses his massive pace to get past Tompkins and a great finish in the ninth minute for the number nine. Although he will cause some controversy in the in the, the coming bits of this episode, if that makes sense. But uh, McLean down the wing, gives it to uh, Sissoko, does plenty of step overs, nutmegs the defender and gets taken out. So we get a penalty here. And uh, they're, they're complaining, but I mean, is there a blatant penalty? Really blatant penalty. And in the 12th minute, see, two goals. Or if we can score this, Darren Bent, he does score it. So two goals in the first 12 minutes, which is... Really could, especially away on the opening day of the season where players might be rusty, but late on in the second half, Andy Carroll here jumps ahead of the right defenders and smashes his head into the goal. Carroll is so overpowered on FIFA, he's not that good. Oh, he's so bad in real life, but um, we get the ball back here. Bertrand back into Sissoko, who is absolutely amazing, I love him. And Benteke, look at his, look how big he is, he's an absolute tank. And he gets bundled over right on the edge of the area, but it is just inside, and we get another penalty. Uh, however, uh, Darren Bent wasn't on to complete his hat-trick, which kind of is a shame, but I uh, decided to look for another penalty take, because Benteke is not going to take it. But I gave it to Barry Bannon, who had only just come on, actually, so Barry Bannon steps up to take the penalty, stutters. Straight down the middle, great penalty by Barry Bannon to make it 3-1, yeah, 3-1, yeah. And uh, later on, really late on, Benteke with a beautiful fake, uh, uh, fake shot, sorry, and a nice finish into the corner by the big Belgian striker, and that completes the victory, a 4-1 victory away, which is uh, really good, I was really surprised about that to be honest, but some bullshit happens here, Darren Bent says he wants to leave now, I mean why, you just scored two, I don't understand, so uh, I tried to ask the board for some more money to see if I could... Uh, maybe just replace him or offer him a better contract. So we go and send this lovely letter to the board, but they just shove it in our face and say no. So, uh, screw you, board. I don't like you anyway. So, uh, it had to be done, I suppose. We had to, we just had to transfer list him. Um, I mean, to be fair, he is 28, so he's not exactly going to get any better. So we accept his transfer demand. And I found some other strikers that I want to get. Here's one called Jake Diara. Obviously, he's only 63 overall, so he won't be playing first team at the moment. But he has a decent potential. Uh, Kevin Gamero, who is the one I definitely want to get. He looks like a great player, and he's pretty young. And on half the wages of uh, Darren Bent. And Aubameyang is rapid, so maybe him as well. But he's going to cost us 9.5 million, so that's a bit too much. So we'll have to see about that. But Darren Bent, two clubs come in for him. Chelsea for 13 million, so... I thought they're rich, maybe we could bump it up to 15 million, so we counter offered that for Chelsea, I reckon they'll pay you that because they have loads of money, and same with Man City, so we bump it up to 15 million, and that will be a lot of money considering it's only worth 9.5 million, but we left him out of this game against Newcastle because we don't want him to affect the harmony of the squad, and uh, in the second half nothing happened in the first half really, but that's a really weird header. <laughs> I uh, don't know who it was, but Benteke here spots the run of Charles and Zogby against this old club as well, I think. He played for Newcastle once, but great finish under the goalkeeper in the 56th minute, and that is 2-0. Uh, two what am I talking about? It's 1-0. But uh, Newcastle came back, uh, you'd expect it really, when uh, Gosling was played through. Vlaar was chasing him, slid in too early, and Dan Gosling with the near post overpowered shot, but... That was how the game finished, 1-1 at St. James's Park. I'm not arguing with that, that's a great result in my opinion. I'll take that every day of the week. Uh, the board then emailed me saying that it's my decision whether we sell Darren Bent, and I'm going to sell him because I really want to get Camaro, he looks like a great player, and they say they want $9 million for him. I think we could pay that for him uh, once we sold Darren Bent, but Diara, they say they want basically just a million pounds for him, which is not much at all. But I didn't really, really want to pay one million for him. I wanted to, you know, pay half and maybe a player as well. So I was looking through my players, and I uh, gave them Shea Given because he's just going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. I'm never going to play him, so he can go and rot in their reserves instead of mine, and we'll get Check the R instead. So we offer them 450k plus Given, and Chelsea accept the counter offer for Darren Bent, and he's gone. Darren Bent has gone. 
for 50 million. We only get to see 11 million of that, which is a shame, but we get loads of money, to be fair. That's quite a lot of money. And Rene, I think that's how you say it, or Renz, or whatever, the club the Yara plays for accepts the offer, and we get to offer him a contract of 2,250 a week for four years. Uh, obviously, he won't be playing much, but I'm excited to use him in the Capital what, Capital One Cup games, maybe. So, now with Darren Bent is sold, we need to get a new striker, and Gamero fits the bill perfectly, in my opinion. So, we offer £8 million for him, because that's still, like, a million and a half over his value, but... Um, you'll see in a minute they say they want more for him, but Diara is signed and I'm really excited about him, he looks like he has some great physical stats. But like I said earlier, or just five seconds ago really, uh, they said they want 9 million for him. So I'm like, oh Christ, come on. So, looking through, to see if there's anyone worth. I was looking at Vyman, but, you know, he's young and he might actually turn into a decent player, so I just thought I'd bump up by 500k. You never know, they might accept that put again. No, 9 million or nothing, they say, so, for Christ's sake, Jesus, it's only 500k, so we just offer them that, there's no point in going anymore, but, uh, they, off they accept the offer, which is amazing, 9 million pounds, we offer him the contract, he's on half the wages that Darren Bent was on, which is amazing, and you see now he accepts the contract offer, but guys, that is the end of the episode, thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you like the signing, and I'll see you next time in the coming days, goodbye.